I think it is a crazy upset. I, I honestly never thought that Arizona would go blue, ever. <laughs> For the first time since 1996, Arizona voted blue in the presidential election, becoming one of the key swing states that gave Joe Biden the presidency. The margin was 10,457 votes. Of the LME students from Arizona we polled, 42% saw Arizona as a swing state before the election. Now, 92% see Arizona as a swing state. I asked these students what issues they think swung Arizona to the Democrats. I think number one on that list is definitely COVID. Um, that's really, really what I think probably pushed people in Arizona more than ever to vote towards Biden. It was more climate change and uh, racial injustice stuff and sexism and homophobia. If you do research and find accurate sources, he's actually been like negative on the economy and he really like went back on a lot of the initial promises and is now kind of just like riding this, at least I'm not a liberal thing. Other issues they mentioned were more specific to Arizona. So everyone in Arizona like loves John McCain. Like I cried when he died. I like, I'm not even a Republican, but like I was really sad because like he's just like a super amazing like American hero. Donald Trump had numerous times went after John McCain pretty hard, um, who is generally a well-loved figure in Arizona. There are some people who don't like him on both sides. You know, he was kind of um, more middle of the road than either <laughs> either of the extremes really liked, but there was a lot of people who had a lot of respect for John McCain. When President Trump like disrespected him and it's just like, I don't know how to even describe it. Like people like started to like actually think about what Trump was saying and like seeing that like everything he said wasn't correct. Another Trump policy that affected Arizona more than other states was Trump's border wall. In Tucson, where I'm from, Trump destroyed uh, a national park to build the border wall. A lot of the rhetoric about, you know, building the wall and sending Mexicans back or whatever, um, hits very close to home, obviously, because we're right there. Overall, students had mixed feelings about what this election means for the future of the state and the country. While Trump is no longer going to be the president for the next four years, he's still going to be the leader of the GOP and he's still going to be pushing this rhetoric just because his fan base is so passionate um, and, and he's been so successful in driving his fans to callings that uh, benefit his personal gain. I think that Arizona will remain a swing state. Um, that's something that I think it had been trending that way anyways, even before Trump, but I think I think it would be wrong to extrapolate too far on this and say that Arizona is definitely a blue leaning swing state um, going forward. I think that Biden will be really good for damage control and fixing things that Trump shouldn't have broken in the first place. But I don't know that I'm confident Biden will move us forward in the way that I would like. I'm excited for like us to have two senators that are Democrat because I think it's gonna like show Arizonans that Democrats aren't like scary. I felt like my vote really mattered this election. I feel like a lot of people talk about how, oh, like I'm voting in California, of course it's gonna turn blue. So I felt like super important in my way of like being able to vote. Veronica BP, election 2020, Los Angeles.